My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Here's an exciting car. We got a 67 Mustang convertible that's been completely restored as a Shelby Tribute. We've got a Performance 302, a Tremec 5 speed, top goes down, it's got the looks. You have a lot of fun with this car right here. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. That's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars we have for sale. We have about 200 sitting here right now. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, top is down, let's go for a spin. Gentlemen owned this car since the 80s. It was a factory black Mustang convertible, and then it underwent an eight year restoration, uh, completely restored, did the mechanics, the cosmetics, and less than a thousand miles are put on since it's been finished. So underneath the car, uh, first of all, the structure is rock solid, the torque boxes, the frame rails, the floors, all of that is fine, better than fine, it's excellent. All the suspension, the whole front end was rebuilt. Looks like it has red polyurethane bushings, has Coney gas shocks all the way around, uh, but all the steering components, the power steering control valve, uh, the springs, the bushings, uh, sway bar, all that's been redone up front and back. It has new leaf springs and bushings and, again, Coney shocks. Uh, it's got a nice dual exhaust system going all the way out the back with some chrome tips. Uh, you look up at the motor. It's nice and clean. It has a Tremec five-speed transmission that he bought new. You buy the whole kit, so everything comes with it. I'm sure that was at least a few thousand dollars as a hydraulic clutch, Hurst shifter. It works really nicely. Um, it does have disc brakes in front. They are drum in back, uh, but the brake system's been redone. The body is really nice. It's absolutely straight. They say if you're going to paint a car black, it better be straight. This one is. Uh, the hood is fiberglass, so it doesn't fit 100%, but that's just the way they are. That's the way the originals were. Uh, but the body itself is absolutely straight. I'm looking all the way down. I don't even see a ripple. There's no problem areas. There's no rust, blisters, cracking, nothing like that that I found. And it is polished out like a mirror. It looks like literally a mirror. Um, so it has the Shelby. The over-the-top stripes are painted on. The side our decals, it has all the GT350 emblems uh, around the car, it has the Shelby scoops, uh, the Shelby dovetail trunk lid, this is fiberglass, and the rear quarter extensions. Then it has the Shelby uh, tail lights, which Shelby actually stole from a Thunderbird, uh, but that's how Shelby did it with the GT uh, gas cap emblem, bumpers re replaced, all this trim around the opening is new. Those are what they call the Shelby 10-spoke wheels. They're the aluminum wheels reproduction, BF Goodrich tires, wheels. new door handles, new mirror. All the stainless trim around the window was replaced. The windshield's new. This chrome vent uh, frame looks like it's new. Now the Shelby hood obviously has a scoop. It's also extended longer than a Mustang, so you have the fender extensions. Then you have the Shelby grill. They call those the inboard lights. Only the early 67s were inboard, then later they went what they call outboard. Now, 15 years ago, they made one 67 Shelby convertible. We owned it 15 years ago. It sold for $1.4 million. And honestly, we'd love to have it back at that. That car is worth in the millions of dollars today. So this is a tribute of a one, one of one car. We have a 302 motor, all rebuilt. They say 300 horse. Uh, me and another guy said it feels like it's more than that. And it's also very responsive. You're right? just snappy. It doesn't cough, hesitate. It just, boom, just goes. Uh, so 302 motor, aluminum intake, 
Uh, it's got headers. Looks like a uh, Holly carb with electric choke, Mallory ignition system, uh, some nice finned aluminum valve covers and matching air cleaner. Now the Shelby's, I'm pretty sure they all came with the deluxe interior, which this has. It has the deluxe door panels with this brushed stainless or aluminum trim, molded armrest, got new handles and cranks. Part of the deluxe is the comfort weave seats with the little medallions on it. And it also has this brushed metal across the dash. And so that's all been replaced. Carpet's new. It has a reproduction Shelby center console with the uh, Cobra snake embossed on the uh, armrest there. Uh, like I said, a Hearst shifter sticking out of the console. It's got new seat belts front and back. All the chrome instrument bezels were replaced under dash lights work. Has a retro stereo with kick panel speakers, uh, the roll bar, and obviously the top goes up just fine, doesn't interfere with that at all. Getting back in the motor, it stays cool because it has an aluminum water pump, polished aluminum radiator, overflow bottle, and a big electric fan. It has power steering, a new dual reservoir master cylinder. All the metal in here is nice and clean. Batteries bolted down, uh, new relay, horns look new, alternator looks new. So we've got a nice motor compartment. Door jams are painted real slick. Door latches look new, weather strips, window seals, sill plates all replaced. Walnut steering wheel. Trunk compartment. I love these uh, liner kits they put in here. It's all boxed. You buy the kit, it fits in there real nice, sharp looking. Got a new trunk latch. This is the boot that came with it and uh, doesn't have the snaps on it. So an upholstery guy would have to put these snaps on. It's a nice boot, it's padded on both sides. We fire it up. Yeah, seat cushions feel good. Visors look new, the button in the door jam for the light looks new. I gotta put the hood pins in, or otherwise people leave bad comments if I don't. I mentioned the convertible top was replaced excellent shape new weather strips it's a power top the rams were just replaced that all works fine too so there you have it that's my impression of this car it seems like fun i want to go take it for a ride you can go to volocars.com if you have questions or concerns please ask the salesman they're happy to help you the best they can they can get this financed they can get it delivered go to volocars.com for help if you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, it'll just send you a notification when we post a new one. Thanks for watching.